Hey, my name's Chris, and I'm going to show you how to build a data logger from your data acquisition device and LabVIEW. We're using a USB data acquisition device, and we've wired a signal from our function generator into analog input zero. Now, if we switch over to LabVIEW, you'll see that I've already dropped my data acquisition assistant, and I can press the run button and acquire the signal from the function generator. Now, if we want to log this data, we can use the write to measurement file ExpressVI. So I can right click my block diagram, go to output, and then go to a write me to measurement file. So when I place that ExpressVI, it's going to pop up a dialog. And in that dialog, we can choose the file name and where we want to save the file. We can also select the file format. So we can save it as a text file or .lvm file. So we can open it in a simple text editor like Notepad. We can also save it as a .tdms file, which is a binary file format, so it's more efficient and takes up less space on our hard drive. So for this example, we use the .tdms file format. We also have the option to choose how we want to save the file. Um, so if the file already exists, do we want to rename or do we want to override it or append to it? In this case, we're going to choose append to file because we're continually acquiring from my data acquisition assistant and the data acquisition assistant uh, returns chunks of data for each iteration of the loop. And so we're going to write those, each chunk of data to the file and append to that file. We can also choose uh, how we display headers in our log. So we can display one header for each chunk of data or we can display a single header at the top of our log. We can also choose and what we want to display in an X value column or our time column so we can display a timestamp for each data point. At the bottom, we can choose a file description to, to name our log. So in this case, I'll choose Chris's data log. And that's all we have to do. I press OK. And now I can wire the signal from my DAC assistant into the signal's input. And when I press run, it'll acquire the data and it's logging it to the file. Now, in order to read back this log, we can read it back in LabVIEW with the read from measurement file ExpressVI. You can see if I right click, go to input, and you'll see the read from measurement file VI. Or I could open the TDMS file in Excel. So if I switch over to Excel, when you install LabVIEW, the TDMS plugin is automatically installed into Excel. So if I click add-ins, you'll see the icon to be able to open the .tdms file. I can select my file, and now you can see it opens in Excel. The first worksheet displays information, uh, header information about my log, and then the second worksheet displays all of my log information with the timestamps as well as the signal values. So if I select some of the values, I can insert a chart and display my data. And there you can see a portion of the sine wave that I acquired. And that's how you log data with an NI data acquisition device in LabVIEW.